All right, so I got this clip sent to me by several different people wanting us to talk about it. Um, and it's you know what's interesting? We talked about this same topic literally one year ago to we the sure day. Did. We it sure was did. it was October seventh, two thousand twenty three. Yeah, a year ago yeah. we talked about this, and it's coming back again. Listen to what Jermaine Dupri said. Young black youth of t- today do not go to church, and they don't have that church ban and grooming like Beacox came from the right. church right right joe to see comes from church right. like so when you listen to that soul that the soul that you think is soul it's a that's, added, coming, from, that's, coming, that's coming from over it's, there it's an added piece of information that if you're gonna make these records it's hard to beat jodeci mm. when you don't have that element you don't have you know what i mean that's a, you don't have, yeah you don't have that you don't have that yeah, soul you don't have that that's passion, a, that's an know. element so it's like when people be saying yo music ain't the way it used to be like like i just posted my new anthony hamilton record is coming yeah, out queen. october 4th queen. yeah queen right yeah anthony hamilton Come, comes from the from church the church like yeah. you're not yeah. gonna get that shit that he's that's in his voice yeah. You ain't just getting that from being on the internet. All right. Mm. So this this idea of the R and B that we grew up with is worse now because the church was basically like a farm system for <laughs> it was it the was training ground. It was the G League for <laughs> mainstream music for a long time. Lord have mercy. And now that that's not really happening, people are kids aren't really in church culture anymore like that. It's being reflected in mainstream music now as well. Mm. What do you think about that? I, I think what he's talking about is the anointing. Yeah, I was about to say that. That's so we can't abuse about, your anointing. Yeah, he, can't, he, he doesn't know. That, he doesn't understand what anointing is, because um, he's he's might be thinking about somebody just having skills and mm-hmm. gifts and mm-hmm. all like that. But what he doesn't understand is when somebody sings in front of somebody and God anointing the holy spirit involves on that person and and the power of god is using that person and people start crying and people getting changed and stuff falling off and then like stuff happening to, mm-hmm. to people when they come into repentance and say hey i need a lord need a lord because the way she just sung that song yeah. mm-hmm. it's that's the anointing that's the power of the holy ghost the power of the holy spirit and i think the problem is like you said i mean i, I was telling this to somebody um, recently that like you know the best singers come from the church they got a church background because they they know the they know the skill of basically mm-hmm. when he was talking about the skill level of blending with people, not to sing, singing mm-hmm. choirs and all that other stuff. But what they also had was the anointing. And I think the 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 problem also was going back into the day when people used to be like, Yo, why y'all singing the devil's music? Why y'all helping mm-hmm. the devil? Why y'all do this and this? And I think what's happening now is I think some kids are going to church, but they also like listening to us and like, yo, that's demonic. I ain't getting involved with the music mm-hmm. industry. So you're getting that too. Where people ain't trying to get involved with the music industry, but then also you're getting people who may not go to church. So mm-hmm. I think, well, so I think the word says the gifts of God come without repentance. Mm-hmm. Right. So similar to what you're saying, people have a gift to sing. They yeah. have an anointing and a calling on their life to influence and impact people for the kingdom, but they have a desire to a desire to blow up and be famous and all these different things. Yeah. So you still have the gift. You still have the ability. Yeah. Just like. When the fallen angels fell, like the enemy fell, he still yeah. had the same abilities. Mm-hmm. He just using them for the wrong thing. Right. Um, mm-hmm. So I, I think it's the same thing with some of these people. Like, you could be singing in the choir, you got an anointing, you seeing people just weeping and praising God with your same talent and ability, and now you want to go over here and tell people about having premarital sex and yeah. lust mm-hmm. and in the flesh and all that. That same impact is going to hit people. You're going to draw people. You're just using your gift for the wrong thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But what you said is true. Like with a lot of people falling away from the church and not fooling with church, it's like a lot of folks just you're not going to see that same impact yeah. because less people are going to church, so you got less singers from the church. Yeah, yeah. there's a natural explanation to this. Um, I, you know, I've I've done sound at our church for for many years, and being in a praise team or a choir, it's just literally constant practice constant yeah. mm-hmm. performances constant yeah. you get to be on stage every single week and you get to improve every single week so i think part of that is not coming up it's basically like a like a like a farmer system it's you're you're getting tested and the the cream rises yeah. to the top and then industry people see those talented people that have been through all those years and years of training so they're already prepared going into the league is how they say <laughs> right. what what, what I just don't, this all makes me sad that 
Jermaine Dupri sees this as just like a training ground. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's nothing. There's nothing to it. It's just you know, there's something special that happens there culturally, and we need them to make music so we can make money. It's like no respect. Yeah. Wait a minute, like somebody in the comments like, uh, did he go to church? <laughs> Does he go to church? <laughs> He may. I mean, he may. The, the the problem. What I'm seeing though is is that cult the church has just become another cultural thing in our in our Black culture. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. it's just yeah. yeah. You you go to the club and you go to church, go to strip club, and then you you know yeah. get signed, and you it's just all just a mix of things you do as a black person. Where right. it's like no no no. If you if you have been given a gift by God and you realize that through growing up in church that you have a, a skill and a talent but then you leave that world to go make music for the world there's a loss that happens there yeah. mm-hmm. you it's see some, what I'm saying it's like it's not something to be celebrated it's actually something yeah. negative that just happened do y'all believe I don't I personally don't believe I believe all good things come from above so your talents your gifts all come from God there are some people who believe that you can be anointed by Satan to do certain things do you guys believe that anointed yeah I don't think I don't think Satan has the power to anoint anyone or give anyone a gift now you can use your gifts for the wrong thing but I think I think what he can do is tempt you with success mm-hmm. that looks like a blessing but it's really just an attempt to make yourself God above. This is the same thing he did with Eve. It's Absolutely. like, I'm giving you this opportunity to gain this new ability you mm-hmm. you don't know about. Mm-hmm. But really, it's a trap to get you to make yourself mm-hmm. God over God. Well, and that's what I think is being yeah. offered to these young people from the church. Well, I think the thing is also going back to that. It's like, like when somebody talks about... Um, Psychics and all like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I, I heard a pastor, and we probably gonna have Pastor Phillips talk about this. I mean, a video about him recently in, in a few seconds. Um, but I think the thing is, like, like how he was saying in the occult that the the my, demons talk to people about like your life, mm-hmm. and you don't know. Kind of like we just said about the demon, like, hey, ain't you what such and such? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think what happens is your gifts could be you could be. It's some singers right now, if you take them and say, hey, sing live, you like. But they get high or a producer yeah. get high and he open himself up and then all of a sudden he start making that fire and you like. Like The weekend, The weekend, that, that joke is evil as well. <laughs> I don't know. That dude's voice goes to places, but beautiful voice, but that dude, man, you look in his eyes, bro. That much is empty, bro. Yeah. From definitely what I heard is like, that's actually a good question posed if can he anoint people. But from what I have heard is that like you said, when you open yourself up, they can assign demons to you that have that gifting that can excel what you're doing, basically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like a good example, oh, brace myself for the beehive, make my phone go off again. <laughs> but Beyonce and the whole Sasha Fierce thing. Yeah. That makes sense. And she's even coming. I think we've, we've, yeah, we've definitely done definitely. shows where she's like, this thing just overtakes me and I become this new person. It's a demon. Yeah. That's giving you the ability to do all that you're doing, singing at the level that you're doing, dancing at the level that you're doing. You you have a demon mm. that's helping you. Yeah. That's yeah I, I I just um yes, it's true that music is getting worse because it's, there's a natural reason for it because people aren't basically trainings from a youth to yeah. to get better at their craft. But honestly, I think that's just a symptom of the real problem is that there aren't their younger people are not embracing church mm. as soon as they have a chance they jump up out of there because they see something <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. that they don't like or they see True. the hypocrisy in their parents and we're losing young people quickly they don't they don't they don't believe anymore yeah. and they don't think you guys do either wow but I there's a lot of act. people that do though like i didn't came up you know i'm an r&b girly at heart so i've definitely come across a lot of young singers that are like christian r&b Christian rap, like they making, they forming their own paths, yeah. and they're fire. I yeah. think that's why Christian R and B, like the way it's thriving right now, yeah. It's, yeah. Re- it's refreshing to see that man because it gives that alternative, and I, it shows that some people who do have their gifting from God are still using it from God. But what he's talking about, as far as the masses and the mainstream, which I think Christian R and B has the potential to get to a certain place where it could be large like that. Um, what he's saying is like, when you listen to these R and B singers these days, all they do is get a little girl who can do a couple of dance moves with some, you know what I'm saying, and and 
She's singing about the most ratchetest, most toxic stuff. Her voice can't really hit them octaves. And then you think about Mariah Carey and Whitney mm. Houston and Anita Baker. These folks were able to touch your soul with the, <laughs> with the way they were singing. Because yeah. they had the gifts of God. The gifts of God come without repentance. They yeah. weren't singing about godly things, but they still had that gift and they had that training and that upbringing yeah. and, the, and the skill set yeah. to hit notes that were like just crazy. But oh, yeah. now, these and girls to singing, worship. Yeah, these yeah. folks singing through their nose. Yeah. <laughs> these folks singing through their nose. Yeah. Yeah. They're going in the studio add melody to their yeah. voice because they missing notes yeah. they, make, they, they make them hit the notes in melody you yeah. hear them all, you like I don't know the difference between this one and that one they yeah. all sound the same they all look the same they get the same surgeries they're doing all, all the dudes coming out they look, they're doing the same they all getting their eyebrows arsed and all. They're like, <laughs> it's the same thing there's no <laughs> defining element that makes them say oh man that's a star every right. now and then you might get one they're, of those they're, they're imitating the anointing God without actually having it. They're, Absolutely. They, they know what it looks like and they're trying to pretend that they have it's it. It's a false right. anointing. But I think there, there are singers and this is the the, the 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 bad part of the industry. The sad part is there are some good mainstream singers out there that can blow, that mm -hmm. can give you that church effect but they just dust them to the side because, they, because they're not sellable or they're not that nobody wants to hear real singers. They want to hear more auto tune or or, or or people who can't really, you know what I'm saying? Like I think that talent that I think I think a generation look at talent now as you know, it, can you more entertain me versus like, let me see what your gift is. It just really has to be fit in the pop formula. Yeah, that, but, yeah. and I, I also really don't like the idea that um, people are coming up in church culture and they're being taught to perform mm -hmm. that this is a performance that even in the choir you're getting up there to belt out this song so that's oh. so um you know and 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 uh jesse will dance around the church like it's it's like <laughs> it's a performance yeah. that's unfortunate and, and i'm like that's not what it is yeah but i see so many people look at it like oh so-and-so has such a great voice and she's doing all the runs and look how talented yeah. she is that's not the point of why she's and up there. She's supposed to be nothing. leading you to worship. Like, mm -hmm. right. it's, it's not you're yeah. not coming there to watch somebody do Observe a concert. Her, yeah. right. You're, you're yeah. coming there to show God how much you appreciate Him. And I think yeah. we're losing the point of all this. Yeah. But it's been like that though, Sean. I think over the years it's been like that where, you know, when we, in essence, lift up like gospel singers or we lift up mm -hmm. Christian to CCM singers, where it's like. The point is, me coming up on stage is me using my gift to God so that you can be like, God, I need you. God, right. I want you in my life. God, mm -hmm. please help me, Lord. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be like, oh my God, that's such and such. And, yeah. and, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. That's idolatry. Yeah. Yeah. I just feel like, too, like as a singer, like there's a pocket. I'm, and guys, give me grace. It's the best way I could try to understand it. But there's like a pocket that you can get into that gives off a certain frequency. And it is essentially is worship. So, like, when you have people that's in secular industries, that's why they're able to hit your soul like that because they tap in to that frequency and they're worshiping. They're not worshiping God. They're worshiping whatever that they're singing, but that's what they're doing. That's why it's hitting you like that. Yeah. I mean, there's some natural things to it. Being on, being in the right key, be, you know, <laughs> make your pitch hitting correctly. Uh, you know what I'm saying uh, using, using your diaphragm. The there's some natural things that just work. You know? Sing yeah. it through your nose. All you gotta do these days look cute, <laughs> sing through your nose, do a, do a couple but, dance moves, and you'll start. But real quick, I, I I do think this though. I do think the the reason why, of course, besides the hypocrisy, the reason why a kid wouldn't want to go to church now is because everybody want to be a star. Think about it. A lot of people, when you going into a choir, unless you singing a solo, you got to learn how to do stuff for people. And a lot of people feel like they're above that. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of teenagers feel like I don't need to. Why I need to go to a church so, to sing? And I could just go sing and get famous in, in on TikTok. What's really sad is a lot of folks in the church who are trying to be stars through church. Yeah. 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 You know, That's real 